Hey, you gorgeous, beautiful people. I have just finished up consulting for the day. Thought, do you know what? Let's hop on. Feeling very, very connected. Wanted to share this week's whispers from the divine, which goes like this. Shifts. The good news is the light is coming for you. And feel into those words for, the mo for a moment. Shifts. The good news is the light is coming for you. I feel into those words. That, those whispers, they come through a couple of nights ago in a really, really beautiful consultation. And we were talking about, you know, what is going on um, at a wider level, what's going on within our lives and what is going on collectively. Okay, and I was getting this real strong sense from spirit at this beautiful wise elder there um, at the time that was saying, you know, if you kind of look out into the world, you look out into the world, there's one or two things happening. You know, it's like you look out into the world and it is, you know, it is pretty, pretty, pretty overwhelming. And what we're seeing in real time is so much is fragmenting, so much is rupturing, so much is falling apart. But as Spirit said in Winter Solstice of 2019, from the shell of the old world, a new world will be born. And what I felt now when I reflect back on that, what they're talking about is in a way kind of everything turning itself inside out, which is this alchemy and this transformation and as spirit always 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 say listen healing fucking messy business it is a really messy business um it is about grit and blood and bone it is absolutely stripping everything back to the real core and down to the layers and that is what we're seeing play out in a wider way so you know it is really, really kind of fragmenting. It is all those things that seem to be holding everything together are no longer working. You know, they're falling over, they're falling apart. You know, you can see it playing out in real time, even within this last week. You know, you hear the story about the new king of England. You know, there's so much that is moving and shifting and, and rupturing. And, 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 and within that, that's that sense of, you know, from the shell of the old world, a new world will be born. It's like a painful process. Birthing is is a painful process. Um, so those two things are happening is that either people are kind of like just really, really overwhelmed by it all and they're pulling back, understandably, just completely, you know, feeling really, really numb and pulling back and shutting down because it is so overwhelming and traumatic. Or the other thing that is happening is they are being completely cracked open. Their hearts are hugely cracking open, you know, like people that have kind of felt, you know, kind of really kind of contained, uh, you know, cracking open, you know, it's like the pain of the world is, you know, creeping in there, cracking those hearts open. And that's what Spirit is saying is the light is coming for you. And I really do feel that, you know, there is no escaping for any of us the shift that we find ourselves in. That this ultimately is this sense of all of us being alchemized collectively and evolution comes from that place. You know, it's like gritty, messy. But the good news is the light is coming for you. And, and that's what we're moving into. So, you know, from the shell of the old world, a new world will be born. Um, and I really kind of seeing that play out so much within my work, you know, kind of people are, you know, they, they, they're just cracking open. And if you kind of look out there, it's like so much of what was holding all this together is no longer holding it all together. But the point is, is that it it isn't it isn't serving it isn't serving us and it isn't serving the planet the way that we have been living so a new story needs to be birthed and in a way you know you could be thinking well where is it 
um, because we're in between stories okay we're in between stories but actually maybe the new story is living within us and we just need to live it which i believe is happening so you know we just need to keep trusting this process and i think it can be really painful because the other thing that's happening it feels like the the the, the cosmic furniture of our lives is completely being shuffled rearranged and moved and i think people are being placed exactly where they need to be and also that means that sometimes there is rupturing within relationships places of work you know because there is this kind of energy that is cosmically if you like rearranging that furniture and sometimes it is this feeling of just picking people up and placing them exactly where they need to be to allow that deeper purpose or their greatest their greatest potential to play out as spirit um said uh, and i remember my dad my dad sharing this with me as well is that we we have many futures okay we have many many futures but we have one destiny and that sounds like really huge and, and, and a really bold statement, but I absolutely completely believe it to tr be true. You know, you can kind of look at your life and where you are and just, you know you need to change it. And it's like, do you know what, that's just too overwhelming. So I just carry on with it. And that's one timeline. It's a bit like that, that incredible film, Sliding Doors, and you kind of carry on along that timeline. But actually there's this other timeline that's over here that is really trying to scoop you up and that does mean those changes or that transformation or kind of being really really honest with yourself and that is painful that can be really gritty and that can fucking messy business too being honest with yourself at that level but it is calling you into that place um, because it wants to scoop you up into your greatest potential into your greatness uh, where you can live that big bold life and that is kind of like what's going on you know everything is kind of shaking apart to be alchemized so you know keep continue to trust continue to trust this process and if you're going for a really 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 difficult time one of the things you really really will benefit from is just trying to kind of move back to that sense of self and to slow everything down and start being very mindful of what you're saying yes to and what you're saying no to and quite often it it, it takes a reversal on all on all of that okay there we are that is this week's whispers from the divine got some really exciting news if you're local this is going to really hopefully speak to you is that over the next couple of days and it kind of is there on my website right now is that we are being able to offer those in-person medicine story circles which is um weaving a beautiful medicine story and the first one now has been launched which is going to be Bridget and the burning oak and it is a story that we are going to then unpack which actually has got kind of deeper teachings in there about initiations and rites of passage which absolutely feels really relevant to what we're sharing now in real time because so many of us are going through rites of passage and we are being alchemized and Bridget and the burning oak is all to do with alchemization so we're going to share this beautiful story weave a little bit of a ceremony and then together we are within a group going to unpack that medicine story it's going to be in person really cozy informal intimate small group of nine people so if you are local and that speaks to you jump onto the website book your place and i can absolutely guarantee you it's going to be a really alchemizing experience really really kind of coming into the richness of those stories and uh, medicine stories are really kind of you know i've gone through a major shift myself over this winter and i've really realized how powerful those stories have been throughout my um my career uh throughout my journey and my path working as a holistic medium if you've ever had a consultation with me 
you would have experienced one or two medicine stories um, because they absolutely are at the heart um, of, of the work that we do with spirit. So if you are local, jump on the website. There's nine places. And if you're really cool to, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit on that for too long because I am absolutely sure that they are going to get booked up and um, booked up fairly swiftly. All right, that's me for now. And um, as always, sending you all so much love. Keep shining, beautiful people.